Hi boys and girls. I hope you're having a awesome Tuesday and a good St. Patrick's Day so far. Uh, I got this cool clover necklace from the leprechaun. He gave it to me and so I thought I'd wear it today in some green. Uh, if you're wearing green today too, let me know. But today I wanted you to jump on to do something fun together. I thought we could draw some leprechaun pictures. So what you're going to need for this activity is a piece of paper and something to draw with. So markers, crayons, pencils, whatever you have is fine. Um, if you need to pause the video and go get what you need and then come back, go ahead. Um, but if you are ready, let's go ahead and get our paper up and down like this. And remember, even Mrs. Rose is not uh, the best artist, but I always try my best. And that's what I'm hoping for me too. So the first step to drawing your leprechaun is you're going to draw a U in about the middle of the paper. Go ahead and draw a U. The next step is you're going to draw a line on top. So you're going to draw a line on top of the U. Kind of looks like a tongue sticking out, doesn't it? The next step is we're going to draw a rectangle. So we're going to turn this line into the rectangle. So that's our bottom line. We're going to draw a line up, a line across, and a line down to connect. So we have our skinny rectangle, right? Four sides, but not the same size. These two are and these two are. Then we're gonna draw another rectangle on top of that rectangle. So we're gonna go up, over, and back down. Awesome. Okay, the next step is we're gonna draw a buckle in the middle of the hat. So we're gonna draw another rectangle in the middle, and then another rectangle inside of that one, an even smaller one. Then you're gonna give our leprechaun a beard leprechauns have those nice big beards, right? So around his face, you're gonna do humps around, kind of like you're drawing an N or an M. You're gonna draw humps around like this. Hump, 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 hump. There we go. It looks like flowers too. Then you're gonna give him a face. He needs eyes. So two circles for his eyes, a little nose, and my leprechaun's happy. So I'm gonna go Give him a nice smile. And he's got little dots for his cheeks. Okay, the next step is we need to give our leprechaun a body. So we're going to draw lines coming out for his shoulders and body. Then we're going to give him some arms. We're going to draw lines coming out for his arms. Actually, we can do rectangles, more rectangles. And then a little line. And then his hand. We're going to draw some tops around for his fingers. Fine running out of room, that's okay, <laughs> for his hand. Okay, then on his coat, he's gonna need three buttons. Let's draw three circles. There we go. Now, I know that leprechauns really like rainbows because they leave their pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. So in the background of my picture, to add a setting where he is, I'm going to draw a rainbow. So we're gonna draw a line for each of the colors. This will be our red, and then our orange. And then a line for a yellow spot and our green and blue and purple. Good. Now with your crayons or markers or whatever you're using, you can go ahead and fill that in to uh, make it more colorful and a nice illustration for your picture. Now I know you can even add more details. Maybe you want to draw a pot of gold at the end of your rainbow. You can draw a lid and a pot and some gold sticking out. Oh, there we go. It's your picture, so add details how you want to make it. I do want to add labels to um, my picture. I'm going to write about it. So I'm going to write about how my leprechaun is feeling. And I drew a smile, so he's feeling pretty happy. I'm going to write the sentence on top. My leprechaun is happy. So first I need to figure out how many words I'm going to need. My leprechaun is happy. Let's clap it. My leprechaun is happy. My leprechaun is happy. I need four words. So the first word, my, that's a sight word. M-Y spells my. So I'm going to use a capital M since the beginning of my sentence. M and then a Y. My leprechaun. L -l 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 leprechaun. L lamp O. I must make sure I put a space between my words because we can't smush all these words together. A leprechaun. The leprechauns are a really long one, so we're gonna put that one here. 
And leprechaun is an even trickier word, not just because it's pretty long, but it has that ch digraph, ch chin ch, but leprechaun doesn't make the ch sound. That's one of those tricky words, friends. My leprechaun is, so we need another sight word. Ah, uh, yes, spells is, is, and then happy. I think we can figure out how to write happy. Let's tap it out. Happy. H -a -p -e. Happy. What do you need first? H hat. H. Ah. Vowel power. A apple. A. Ah. Hap. P. P. Pam. P. Hap. And hap. P actually has two P's in it. And hap e sounds like the long vowel sound e at the end, but for happy, it's actually a y at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw and write a y. Now I need to end my sentence, but not with just a period. I'm pretty excited, and my leprechaun's excited too because he's so happy. So we're gonna use an exclamation point. So I'm gonna go line down and a line and a dot at the bottom. My leprechaun is happy. I cannot wait to see what your leprechaun is feeling or more details that you added to your picture. Uh, go ahead. If you do complete this, totally optional, but if you do, I would like to see a picture of it. So make sure you can send that to me or tell me what you did. And I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.